Okay, so when you're applying this thermal wall liner, um, it's essential that you do all your prep um, because this stuff, it's not very cheap. Um, when it goes on, you do want it to last. So make sure you've um, eliminated any drafts. All this has been secured now. Um, do any of your deep filling because again this adhesive has a um as filling properties so it will um fill all the small holes um again around the window everything's been filled sealed up eliminate all the drafts and all the cold so yeah essential and then this wall has been um pva thin PVA to seal any dust okay so when you come to do your um, measuring it's essential that you do your planning um, this rebate um, is a lot wider at the bottom than it is at the top so I've took my first measurement from down here and marked under the sill where it's going to sit and then a small pencil mark on top of the sill and then with me plumb line I then can match where my first length will sit giving me a reasonable cut on this side so then it'll mean that a full piece will sit from this mark to this mark here covering this and then again over the window from there to there but well, I'm only going to paper up to here and I'll trim it because this next length that goes from this mark over to this mark will sit over the window round window I should say on this side and the off cut I should be able to use along this top piece here and then obviously then the next length will be taking me down to here covering but leaves me this awkward piece here so what I'll do is just put a piece in to do this and then these last pieces I'll infill with any off cuts because again it's trying to save all you know as much paper as you can right once your adhesive's on what you'll have to do is um, any pencil marks you'll have to go back over them because this um, thermal uh, this thermal adhesive it um, will obliterate any of your marks and especially if you're using chalk I don't think chalk would be any good so this has been cut on the bench the size starting on the ceiling just bring it forward so you're happy with where it wants to sit. Not easy this stuff. And ignoring that edge, just slowly just bring it on to the wall. this I'm using um, one of my old paper hanging brushes it's very warm the ideal for this Pushing it in 
the edge of the sill. Pencil there. Take it back off. The edge of the foot sill. See the pencil in the middle. Just a pencil line. You're gonna have to use your scissors at this point. So we're cutting along that line. Just touching the line and then up, cut, and one just to the edge there. Okay, another mark on the top. Pushing it into the cell. Mark on the other corner. Corner of the wall against the sill. Okay, that's that there. Sharp blade. Right then. What I want to do now is get that round that corner. So with the blade, I'll just wipe the uh, oil off it. With the blade, you want to bring it straight down that corner there. So I'm just putting a bit of a crease onto it. And then pull your blade in your fingers, keeping it right on the corner, just slice through the paper. Making sure that paper's nice there. So you can see how this sits now. Um, so basically, I'm just going to mark 
all the way down this edge trim the bottom edges around the back edge of the sill underneath and then obviously I'm going to sit it right in the corner and when you come to um, trim this bit of waste off using your brad oil if you push down onto the sill and draw it along yeah and then with a pencil follow that same line then when you come to cut if you just cut the pencil line and then that way you won't create a big void on, on your wall it'll sit with a neater edge that's the first piece on that's um, that's looking okay this is actually going to be getting papered this one um, so probably a good idea of what I would do before I paper because this stuff is awkward to put on it's quite expensive um, and you don't really want it coming back off so if you are putting paper on it it's a good idea to seal this um, I mean a good emulsion paint, vinyl paint would seal it but I'd leave it a few days to cure before you start to paper it so then all's, all's it um, stops is when you come to repaper this could be 10 years time um, if you're using a pattern paper you can peel the surface off maybe you might be able to leave the backing on um, but certainly what you don't want to be doing is if you're using any water or steam to be stripping this is only paper so you'll start to damage this at the back if you're painting it emulsioning it fine um, again what I would recommend is emulsion it first do any filling and then do your fin final coat of emulsion um, and also once you've um, got your piece on depending on how long it is before your next piece goes on you want to remove all this adhesive because this will dry quite solid um, so just wipe all that off and get rid of it that's for your next length so then obviously woodwork anywhere where your adhesive's been you want to wipe it get rid of it because it will dry solid it'll be a lot harder to get off when it comes to button up the joints just, just in that paper break its back a bit and just keeping this edge less to move around Also what I've done is, the adhesive, I've pasted that edge, so I want to butt up, there's adhesive on this joint as well, so that will fill in that gap, give it a nice tight seal there, and then, there you go. come to your corners and you've got paper to paper um, get it nice and tight in with your brad oil but using the other wall is where you mark against that wall not that way and then with your pencil come back down the same line same again facing the wall and then when you trim off leave that pencil line on trim this this off and just up to the pencil line and then that way you'll get a neater edge when you take it off fittings that need going back um, remember not to forget about them and while it's wet just peel the paper back you see there there's a radiator bracket going here so from this other side I've just 
found it and with my uh, brad hole just punch it through it's quite tough paper so you will need something sharp and again you don't want to be uh, leaving anything like that because it'll be really hard to find afterwards the wall done All I've got left is just this to trim back tomorrow and all I'll do again is sit my blade on and just tack it over. In the minute this is still wet um, and it'll be a lot easier to cut when it's dry. Well, I can finish that top edge and again now this is going to be papered so I'll just seal this wall before it gets paper put on and again if you were going to emulsion it then all you can do is give it its first coat and then anywhere where your joints are or anywhere where you've done any piecing up then if you mix a hard stop filler you can um, apply that give it a light sand and then give it your final coat of emulsion of your choice of colour.